Hello everyone! First, I'd like to thank you for all your comments. It's really cool to have such a wonderful audience. Let's start. Let us remove the parts from the frames. With a sharp knife, I remove all the mold lines. This is very important because a wash will make them visible. The next step is drilling holes in the storm bolters barrels. Usually players use 1mm drill for making main hole and side holes. I prefer using main hole drill 1,5mm, it looks much better. You will see that bigger hole in the barrel looks better in second and two. I apply a Vallejo Grey primer to the small parts. To avoid blowing them away with the stream of paint, I use masking tape to stick them down during painting. I apply silver base color, I used chainmail citadel paint, diluted with thinner and glaze medium. The proportion of paint to glaze medium is about 50-50. The rest is thinner. I cannot give you the exact recipe, because you may have chainmail paint with different thickness than mine. I paint force weapons in two stages. On a white base coat I make gradient from ice blue through ultramarines blue up to a mix of kiss black and regal blue. When the paint is dry I mask painted surface and apply gradient to a second surface. After removing the mask blade looks like this. Now I apply shading to the armor. Using a 50-50 mix of bolt gun metal and kiss black, diluted with glaze medium and thinner, I paint shading on the armor. Notice that I keep parts upside down in order to paint lower parts of armor. This stage requires some practice, because you have to leave exposed areas unshaded. I do the same with the rest of the parts, torsos, arms, helmets and so on. Then I have to put protective layer on the metallics. They are very vulnerable to damage. I apply satin varnish. The next step is highlighting the edges. I wrap a brush with chainmail paint over the edges. I repeat with mithril silver on the most exposed areas. I prepare wash using regal blue kiss black with glaze medium. Then I apply it to the armor to give the miniature soft blue shade.
I painted gold details using old gold from Vallejo Liquid Gold range. In my opinion, this is the best gold paint available on the market. To the gold letters and details I add black-brown wash. Books pages, purity seals and so on I painted snake bite leather, then I highlighted them with bleached bone. I paint the cloth for the Justicar by applying white base. Then I use red making a shadow in the hollows. When the red is done I applied a strip of masking tape. Then I painted the cloth with pale colors. I started from a green brown to make different tone than on the purity seals. Then applied snake bite leather, bleached bone and white. Once that is done, I remove the strip of tape. Now the models are painted. Thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe and leave a comment.